Hey everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to the homestead and welcome to the channel. So today is uh, around the beginning of April and I figured I'd show you guys what I am doing uh, this time of the month, this time of the season as we kick off gardening season 2023. So follow me along right here on Garden Jen's Journey. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick little tour of what we are doing here in the garden and the homestead in the beginning of April, 2023. All right, so this is my rose bed area, my rose garden, and I've moved my Neil Diamond, it was right here. I moved it away from the path, so it's over here. This path is so um, the wire up above, which electrifies that pasture fence can be maintained. So I wanted to make sure I moved my rows further away so it wasn't attacking whoever was on the path. Our daffodils are starting to come up and bloom as well as our irises. I do have a few tulips coming up. I wasn't sure what I had left after my chickens had pretty much ravaged them last year. So um, once they come up, I'll make a note of how many I have and so how many I have to replace this following fall. So I have all my raspberries transplanted. I have them broke up into the three different varieties. And then right here, I'll be putting my blueberries. And then we put our arbor back in that I had right here. This arbor was one of the original ones I had when we first did the garden so you could go that way into the yard and uh, since we don't have the chickens anymore I opened this back up and put the arbor back and the arbor will be used for growing my different varieties of grapevines and then back there I won't be able to take you guys back there right now because it's really really muddy um, is where we're going to be planting our fruit trees. You can see this is a muddy mess. <laughs> this is what happens when things thaw and freeze and thaw and freeze and snow and rain and freeze and thaw. Yeah, it's a muddy mess. So right now I have my pots outside in the uh, acclimating to the uh, air out here. Um, I have my blueberries and then uh, there's a grape there in my apple and peach trees. And then my pots of thyme, they've been out here for a while and I just covered them with a cloth overnight. But all oh, these pots right here go back in the greenhouse overnight because it still gets really, really, really cold. These are my original winter sown jugs that I started in March. And this is a new batch that I started today. This is all the stuff I have growing in the actual greenhouse itself. I have some rose propagations here. Um, they're not doing too well because we had some really hard, hard cold temperatures. I have some that are still doing pretty good. Um, but uh, quite a few of them have uh, just crapped out because it's too cold. Um, so I'll just try propagating some more roses when it gets a little bit warmer. Because the technique works when you have good temperatures. Um, and then at, these are all my tomatoes that I started inside. This is one of the reasons I do winter sowing. You see how long and leggy and stuff that these guys are. My peppers did pretty good though, which is strange because they both were set up under the same light sources and my tomatoes went leggy on me. My peppers are doing pretty good. So, um, yeah, I'm, these are all pepper, uh, tomatoes and peppers that I'm growing for the farmer's market and I did plant some more in the winter sown jugs so I can kind of show you guys a comparison between trying to grow these indoors and what they actually look like when you grow them in the jugs so hopefully I'll be able to show you guys that in a couple months so yes this is April in central Michigan zone 5b and I am still winter sowing um, it is officially spring via the calendar 
but with our different temperatures that we're having, um, it's not really planting season for at least another month, two months, depending on which crop you want to plant. Um, so, you know, I have still quite a bit of time that I can plant things in the jugs and get them going and they'll be ready to transplant when it's the appropriate time. So yes, it's April and I'm still winter sowing. Now the reason I wanted to show you guys this today is because I do have a lot of people ask me questions about um, if it's too late to winter sow. And you know, I love to be able to answer that question but I can't always answer it because I don't know the climate that you are in. And, um, you know, for the folks that are further down south where it's a little bit warmer than me, um, you might be pushing it, uh, trying to do cold crops and stuff. But warm crops, I think you can still do uh, this time of year. Um, but you really have to gauge it on how cold it is, how hot it is, and if you can still winter sow your seedlings to get them going for the growing season. So um, I know in my zone and um, in zone six and zone four and things like that, yes, we still have plenty of time to uh, winter sow cold crops and get our warmer crops going as well. The crops that like the warmer temperatures, which is what I was working on today. And I have a lot more to do. So hopefully this gives you a little insight on what's going on. It's really busy right now. Um, so I haven't been able to spend a lot of time shooting some videos uh, just because there's so much going on in the homestead. I don't have the opportunity to always grab the camera. But I will try to keep you guys updated as much as possible. We got a lot of different things going on in the garden and I want to be able to share them with you because it's really, really cool. And it might give you some inspiration on what to do with your garden. Thank you for being with me today. And if you want to stay updated on what we're doing in our garden, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below so you can stay updated when I update new content. <sighs> and my tiny cat wants some attention. <laughs> oh, got to give our pets attention, right? Yeah. So thank you for being with me today. And I hope wherever you are, you're wonderfully blessed. So until next time, everybody, bye-bye.